previously on Hell's Kitchen. Off you go. Oh, that sucked. In the crepe making challenge. It all comes down to dessert. Dave's dish was a mess. It looks like a plate of diarrhea. And the red team was victorious. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you, Chef. Then, at the French themed dinner service, <laughs> Chef Ramsay had high expectations. Tonight, I want success. <laughs> but was disappointed. Why are you slicing ahead of the time? With Suzanne. All the goodness running out of the lamb. Sabrina. Bland, sepid thing. I can't believe just how inconsistent you are. And Andy. You're killing the salad. He threw them all out. Get out! Piss off! Get out! I've had enough! And the service was completed by the five remaining chefs. That's never happened before. Who then had to come together to nominate two chefs for elimination. That means blue and red working together. Everyone quickly agreed upon Suzanne. That's where it's got to go. Yeah. And also nominated... Andy, chef? ...for elimination. Step forward. Chef Ramsay added one more. Sabrina, step forward. But sent Andy home. Give me a jacket, please. And Suzanne to the men's side. You in the blue team. Where Kevin is ready to send her packing. She's going to go home, just like everybody else. And claim the prize of head chef at a Raxi restaurant and bar in Whistler, British Columbia, for himself. I will be the last man standing. <laughs> Now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Good night. Good night, Good night, Good night chef. 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 Suzanne's gone. <laughs> it's a new day, baby. It's a new day. Hey, I'm, I'm excited. OK, Suzanne, let's get one thing straight. We're yes. not happy about this. We'll let you know that right off the bat. We don't want Suzanne one single bit. She needs to listen to what we say, and that's it. We don't like your attitude. We don't like you. The three of us are pretty hardcore. We do everything in sync. We're not looking for someone to fuck that sync up. Yep. We're all here to win, yes. but it's still a team game, so we still play team rules. Just give me a chance. I just have to go in there and show these guys that I'm in it for the team and just prove it to them. I'm there 100%. I had my wake-up call. And nobody throws anybody under the bus over here, either. We'll call you out and throw you right under the bus. I'm sure you will. I ain't trusting that bitch to do anything. We'll rub her out just like we needed to rub out all the weak ones. We'll rub her out, too. Every challenge, we got to be like this. I'm nervous. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to run the kitchen with three people. We have no choice but to be perfect. One person, one brain working together. I mean, you better bring out your inner demons. Sabrina's been disasters in the last two services, and she definitely has to step up her game. Otherwise, she's out of here. Still adjusting to their new team lineups, the chefs head down to the dining room, anxious to see what Chef Ramsay has in store for them today. Oh, shit. I see Chef Scott there. I'm like, what's going on here? I know it's going to be a bad day when you see Scott first thing in the morning. Morning, everybody. Morning, Morning Chef. Chef. Everybody get a good sleep last night? Yes, yes Chef. Chef. Excellent. Gordon would like to speak to you this morning. Here he is. Unbelievable. Good morning. Whilst you all toasting your beds last night, I caught an overnight flight to Whistler, British Columbia. This winter, it will be hosting the Alpine skiing events for the 2010 Winter Olympics. I've just seen Whistler for the first time. I'm pretty pumped, man. It looks cool up there. I got to win this thing. People from all over the world will be descending upon Whistler. And clearly, one of the best restaurants to eat at is here, the Araxi, voted Restaurant of the Year in Whistler nine years in a row. This is where one of you is going to become the head chef. One of the many things the Araxi restaurant is known for is its fresh local ingredients within the Whistler region. 
Oh man, the Araxi restaurant is beautiful. We get to see a little bit of the backdrop of Canada. I gotta win this thing. Now, I've made arrangements from here in Whistler to fly in 15 fresh local ingredients sourced within this region. Scott and Heather, bring in the ingredients, please. Working with the ingredients from the region where this restaurant is, is the most important challenge so far. I have to be vocal, I have to shine. Now, each team will have to cook three entrees using all 15 ingredients and not repeating the ingredients more than once. Good luck. I'll be returning in a few hours' time with some very, very special guests that will be helping me to judge your dishes. Good luck. Let's go. Let's it go. will take Chef Ramsay and his special guests two and a half hours to get back to Hell's Kitchen, giving the chefs ample time to create and execute three delicious entrees. Go over here, over here. The chefs must use each of the 15 ingredients, but none of them more than once. Let's figure out which items you're going with what. Yeah. We just tried to take all 15 ingredients, put everything out, figure out which five would go with each other. Salmon, the leeks, all right. And then some of the artichokes. Do you want to take the bones off and start making some sort of sauce? Ariel, they're not listening to me. Just because I've been on the chopping block two times, the girls don't think that I have an input, but I'm sorry, that's wrong. We're on the same team. All right, what next? You want Give the skin me. on the salmon or skin off? Tenille, we'll take the skin off. Off? All right, yeah. What next, Ariel? Hold on. While Sabrina's suggestions are falling on deaf ears, for Suzanne, it's the same story, different kitchen. Can I give you my idea for the sandwich? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I definitely feel like an outsider. What if we do, what if we do like um, really simple white wine, tomato, garlic. That's what I have And for then shrimp. slice the Jerusalem artichokes and make little chips out of them. Suzanne was coming up with ideas and they were all crap. Like, can I peel that acorn squash and caramelize them? Let's, now that we have ingredients, so let's designate who's doing right, what. Then. While Dave, Kevin, and Ben are happy with their menu, in the red kitchen, Ariel and Tennille have found the perfect meat for one of their three entrees. I think the lamb would go good with the cranberries. <laughs> what? That's not lamb. You guys are silly. We got lamb. Lamb's going with the cranberry. Cranberry. They kept calling it lamb. There is no lamb that's purple. I mean, that meat is so dark. Ariel, I think we should take the lamb off the bone. That's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, the mystery meat is, aha, it's venison. <laughs> Shrimp would go better with the lamb, maybe. I'm sorry. <laughs> it makes me laugh. The lamb's in the oven. I, I just told you guys. You already seared it? No. Ariel and Tennille should have known that that was venison. That's why I didn't say a word. And they weren't including me, so. While Ariel prepares the sauce for her lamb dish, the men and Suzanne are focused on their salmon entree. I love fish with skin on. I can grab this skin and crisp it up. All right. Let's go, what? move! With just a few minutes left until Chef Ramsay arrives at Hell's Kitchen with his mystery judges. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The chefs rush to complete their dishes. Ten, Beautiful. come on, come on, come on. Eight. Eight. Put it on quick, pour it around, pour it around. Check that Five, salmon. Bad one. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Good morning. Morning, Chef. Just got back from Rexy. That was amazing. I told you I was going to be returning with two very special guests to help me judge. Welcome, Olympic civil medalist, ladies champion figure skating, Sasha Cohen. And Olympic gold medalist in mogul, Johnny Mosley. Guys, good to see you, my darling. Yes? Oh my god, Sasha Cohen and Johnny Mosley are going to eat my food. Fantastic. First entree, let's go. Wonderful. Thank you. Kevin, what is that, please? We have caramelized salmon. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a uh, pan seared leg of lamb. And Ariel, what is that, please? Grilled salmon, melted leeks, and grilled shrimp. The red. I'm slightly concerned about the over richness on the, the sauce. The yeah. leeks and the shrimp. It's, it's a little chunky. The, the um, leeks were too heavy. How's that? With the blue, I, I like the texture of the lamb. It was uh, mm -hmm. very tender and good. With a little skin. I love salmon skin. OK, um, Sasha, let's start off with you first. Um, which would you prefer, the red or the blue, please? Uh, I think I'll go with the blue. The blue. Thank you. Try I'm in the blue court as well. Blue as well? Yes. 2 nothing for the blue. 
<laughs> Second entree, please. Tennille and Dave. Tennille went up to Chef to present her dish as lamb, which was venison. Who knows what's going to happen? Tennille, what is it, please? We have a magnificent lamb. What? This is your. Uh, initially, I thought it was lamb. It looks as if. You don't know what it is? Um. Oh, man. I could tell by the look on Chef's face, knew it wasn't lamb. It's venison, Chef. Um, ladies, what is this? Venison, Chef. It's definitely venison. Yes, Chef. So why introduce the dish as lamb? I. Because we work with lamb every day. I think she just got confused for a second, Chef. Right. And then, trust me, it's definitely venison. Did anyone taste this, ladies? We knew it was venison, Chef. I'm just absolutely, I, right. I, I'm okay. just absolutely nervous. Shame on you, girls. You had no idea that meat was venison. Takes cojones to uh, stand up and lie right to Chef. OK. Here we go. Dave, yours, please. We have a rack of venison with a cranberry sauce. Good. Johnny, please. Sasha. And the idea behind the capacho of beets. I just wanted to keep it very simple. I don't want you to get confused by tasting a lot of different ingredients. The sauce, it's kind oh, of scary looking. Sasha, to the red. On the red. I really like how you prepared the kale. Very good. If you had to choose between the red or blue, which one would you uh, go for? Definitely in the red. This had a lot more complexity, more flavors. It was, it was a joy to eat, so. Uh, Johnny, if you have to choose between the red and the blue, what would it be, please? Uh, I think I would go with the red. You know I don't know what half of this shit is. But irregardless, everything I put on the plate is going to taste good. OK, let's go to this one, the deciding one. Van, Sabrina, please. I walk up there, it's tied. I'm so nervous, man. This is ridiculous. Wow, holy man. Sabrina, go yeah. first, please. I have lamb with a mushroom burlesque and then some Jerusalem artichokes, lightly sauteed. Nice presentation, looks lovely. Uh, Van, what is that contraption? I have uh, grilled shrimp, uh, uh, braised, braised. Uh, all of a sudden, I, my mind goes blank. I don't know what's wrong with me. What the fuck is that? Van, are you kidding me? Braised kale, roasted tomatoes, and uh, ginger sun choke puree. Yeah, thank you, Sabrina. <laughs> Sorry. Sasha, how's that? With the blue, really sweet shrimp. Um, very delicious. Uh, Johnny, how was that? The blue, just too thick. Sasha, to the red. I find the mushrooms a bit salty. Um, the red dish had way too many sweets and salts yeah. and everything for me. Red or blue? Blue. Blue, yes. thank you. Sasha, decision please, a red or blue? Blue. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Oh, thank God we won. It's like, woohoo. Ladies, as you know, Hell's Kitchen relies on local product just like Arexi. So today you're going to the heart of those ingredients. All three of you are going to be working at a local farm, milking cows. And whilst you're there, you may as well clean up the pig pen. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop laughing. Now, it's going to get very messy, so we've got some clothes for you to make sure that you don't get caked in crap. <laughs> I don't want to clean a pig pen, that's for damn sure. It sucks. Now, blue team. You're going to be heading to one of the best restaurants in LA and meeting a phenomenal chef, Mark Peel, at the restaurant Campanile. And by the way, whilst I was in Whistler, I picked up beanies for the winners. Here we go. Up, oh, Dave. I think you need a clean one, don't you? Yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ladies, get those farm clothes on. And trust me, the pig pen, they're quite obnoxious little fuckers, so be very careful. Hey, you guys, way to go. Come here, put it up. Hey, we did it, y'all. You know? I feel good about being on the blue team. I'm not a dude, but I'm just hanging with the guys. Oh, how are you doing, Chef? You. Hey, how are you? When we stepped inside, I thought it was the cutest restaurant I've ever been in. What we've based our reputation on is doing the simple things right. So you know what we're doing today? We're making grilled cheese sandwiches. 
It was really cool to see one of the best chefs in Los Angeles in action. And there we go. Pretty, voluptuous, and sexy. Eating grilled cheese sandwiches with a great chef, good team. It was awesome. It was a good day. Blue Cheers team. to the blue team. What are your girls doing right now? We arrive to the farm, and we meet the owner, Phil. Howdy. Hi there. I don't think he's happy to see a bunch of city girls on his farm. It's going to be a long day. We got to go move hay, load that up on the truck. Man, them things heavy. Then we had to go feed the jeeps and the whatever the hell it was. And they some aggressive, pushy little motherfuckers. I didn't know working on a farm all day it was going to be so hard. Oh! Here's your girl's gloves. You might need them in here. Oh, my God, it's pig! <laughs> I have pig fear. When I was a kid, I got attacked by a giant pig at the county fair. Come on, let's go. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm going to be, like, traumatized for life. Oh, my God! Oh! If y'all ain't never smelled farm shit before, it smelled worse than anything. Oh, it stinks! <laughs> Just think of it as mud. Ain't no mud. That's not mud. Look like mud. Don't smell like mud. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, fuck this shit. I can't, I can't do this shit. This is the worst punishment ever. Got my smile back. Today was great. I had a great time, but now I'm just gonna mentally prepare myself for what might be coming tomorrow. When you're in Hell's Kitchen, the best thing to do is be ready for war at all times. With a new day ahead of them, the chefs are ready for anything. And it's a good thing, because Chef Ramsay has one more test for them before dinner service. Right, good morning. Morning, morning Chef. Chef. Today, you're really going to have to work as a team, because tonight, my menu no longer exists. It's going to be the Red Team's menu versus the Blue Team's menu. Finally! Yeah. I got this hands down. Each team will create three appetizers, three entrees, and three desserts. Each and every one of you has to have an imprint on that menu. And for me, it's going to tell me a lot. Don't stand staring at me. Get up to the dorms, yeah, and start writing those menus. You've got an hour. Let's go. Yes, the menu's gone. It's us today. I finally get to show Chef Ramsay what I can do. High cuisine bad boy coming through. What do y'all think? Sear scallop. Then I got a lobster lemongrass sauce that goes with it. Yeah, I like that idea. Apps first. I was thinking of doing a braised pork butt ravioli. Beautiful. Yeah? Beautiful. OK, I wanted to do like a sushi-style plate. A little decomposed tuna Sushi roll. roll. I don't like the word decomposed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it'd be cool if we did like a crisp okra. I hate okra. Tanil's suggestions were not fine dining suggestions, but it had to be a team effort. Asian slaw and seared tuna appetizer. <sighs> Whatever you want. Tanil could crash and burn our team. Entree is my idea. It's a goat cheese stuffed chicken breast. I like that. We just start, you know, jamming out ideas, and all of us were collaborating. But seared halibut, sauce on top, drizzle, and I make an herb oil. I love it. Good. OK, I write it. We wanted everybody's idea to be part of this menu. Are you guys a fan of New York with pancetta? Pancetta, yeah. That's awesome. I think we're working very well together. And I really want to kick the red team's ass. OK, that's perfect. Next dish. While the blue team is a chorus of shared ideas, on the red team, Tennille is singing a whole different song. I wanted to do like a really simple black and halibut. Black and halibut? Yeah. We have to think of what are people going to want to order. Every time Tennille had an idea, it was so stupid. She's so stupid. I think we could do like a chocolate souffle. I don't want to mess with souffle. I don't think we should mess with souffle. You got, you got an idea for an app? I'm really annoyed right now. Sabrina never really has great ideas, but every time she gets a chance, you know, she's got something smart to say about mine. Don't get ingredient crazy. Come on, what, what the fuck? With two minutes left, the blue team is ready to present their menu. Is this the whole menu right here? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, boy. <laughs> the sauce? 
It's all about the blue team's media. Let's go. Head down right now. Are you happy with this? No, I don't know. The red team is not. All right, let's go. OK. Happy with the menu? Yes, yes sir. sir. Describe the menu for me. Off you go. All right, so we have roasted butternut squash soup with whipped mascarpone. OK. Caramelized halibut with fennel and plum salad. Nice. We have seared diver scallop with caviar and lemongrass sauce. OK, very good. Sounds delicious. This is what I need to see. OK, good. Well done. We're going to rule this service. That red menu is going down. OK, fire away. For the first one, I want to do a braised pork ravioli, a seared sesame crusted ahi tuna, and blackened halibut with uh, seafood risotto. Happy with the menu? Uh, I'm not in love with Tennille's Asian salad. Go fuck yourself. What do you mean you're not happy with the Asian salad? You want to throw me under the bus? Well, fuck you. Well, it's not the most creative of appetizers. This is not the kind of thing I would personally want to go and eat. However, make sure there's a delicate balance of those spices. Be very, very careful. Yes. OK? Yes, Delegate and get cracking, yeah? Yes, chef. Good. Thank you. Man, that pissed me off. Every time you turn around, somebody's trying to stab you in the back. And I'm fed up. Turn the fucking timer off. I am! Don't talk to me like that. I'm standing right in front of it. Nerves are running really high right now, but we need to get it together. The last thing I want to do is fuck up the execution of our own menu. Right, ladies, let's go. We're opening up in minutes, yeah? Let's go, huh? While the red team could cut the tension with a knife, the blue team... That's banging can already taste victory. We win. <laughs> Everything I've tasted is so good. I'm definitely psyched. It's our menu tonight, and it's time to kick some ass. Right, uh, Jean-Philippe. Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's kitchen. go. Tonight, each guest will have the option of choosing which menu to order uh, from. I'm gonna go with red. I think the blue side looks better. Every member of the blue team contributed to their menu, which includes Van's seared diver scallops and Kevin's caramelized halibut with fennel. The red team's menu features Ariel's braised pork ravioli, Tennille's Cajun blackened halibut, and from Sabrina, nothing. Go blue, go. They're coming. Come on, Sabrina. Guys, there's only three, but it's a strong three, right? I just don't know why we can't seem to unite. We need to get on the ball. Who's got the first ticket tonight? Blue. Blue. Here we go. On order, two covers table 40, yes? One scallop, two carrots. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. On order, three covers table five. Again, all from the blue team, yes? I kept seeing tickets going into the blue kitchen, blue kitchen, blue kitchen. I was like, oh my god, they don't like our red food. The majority of the customers, are they ordering out of the red or the blue? Blue, chef. What's going on? What's going on? Red kitchen. Let's go, yeah. Finally. Yes, OK, here it comes. So on order two covers table 45, yes? One broccolini, one ravioli. Thank you, chef. OK, good, let's go. Three minutes, off we go. As customers can order from either menu, Ariel and Tennille in the red kitchen will have to coordinate with Dave and Van in the blue kitchen to ensure that each table receives their appetizers at the same time. I've never made this before. Ariel, can you give this a taste, please? I've never made this before. I've never made that before. I ain't never cooked a damn char a day in my life. So let me know how you cook this shit so I can get that thing fired up. Did you put shallots and garlic in there? I want the side, Tennille. Tennille, just make sure it's seasoned. Hurt, garnish going up. Oh, dear. Taste that. Come on, taste it. Taste the stock. It's peppery as fuck. I can't be going back and forth helping Tennille. She needs to get it together. She's just now starting to throw stuff out there. Hey, you British bastard. Calm down for a second. I've never cooked Swiss char before. Tennille. Yes, chef. Yeah, finesse. Taste, yes? While Tennille starts over, Ben is ready with his first order of scallops. Ben forgot how to count. He's giving me extra scallops now. Oh, dear. Van, come here. Straight away. Two threes are what? Two threes? Two times three. Two threes? Two threes are what? Two Ooh. times three. Kind of confused on that right now. What? Van! I don't understand, Chef. You don't understand two times three? I can count, yes. Yeah, it's six. So you give me I gave you an extra. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Dumbo. 20 minutes into dinner service. Service, please. Appetizers, table 40. And the first appetizers have left the Park kitchen. It's kind of frozen in the middle. Is it? And they are quickly coming back to the red side. Oh, my god. Uh, ravioli, the, the pork inside is stone cold, chef. Oh, fucking hell. 
Ariel. Yes, Chef. Touch that. It feels really bad to mess up a dish on a menu that I created. That's not cold. That's stone cold. OK, Chef. Yeah? It won't ever happen again. Ariel, it wasn't lukewarm. The cheese yes. only melted. You're right, Come Chef. Come on. Refired ravioli urgently. While Ariel reheats her ravioli, Van is ready with his next order of scallops. Van! You got really clumsy and all bits of black shit. Black, black, black. They started off golden brown. Now these bits around the outside are burnt. Yes, sir. Let's go. Come on, man. It wasn't rocket science. It doesn't get any easier than this dish. It's easy. Van! Yes, sir. Hurry up. While Van tries to catch up. Coming right now. Service, please. On the red side. Molly, push through it. Ariel is determined to make up for lost time. And I think your ravioli is a whole too. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, Ariel, it's not possible. No way. Look. No, you don't That's touch. Like Look, let's stop. Yes, chef. It's stone cold. OK. Mistake after mistake after mistake. You know, it's embarrassing. Three of these should come back stone cold. That's bad. What the hell are you doing, Ariel? Um, I didn't anticipate that long. Yeah, why are you rushing it? This is your menu. I'm not trying to rush it, Chef. I'll make sure that these go out hot. Ariel, look at me. I know you want to be calm and cool. It's not fucking good enough. No, I'm not no, trying to... No, three fucking times. Yes, Chef. Stone cold. Yes, Chef. With cheese fucking stone cold in the centre. I just love the way you're so laid back about it. Trust me, I'm pissed, but I'm not going to lose my shit on the line. I've never made the same mistake three times. Never. Never, 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 never. Never. While Ariel starts over on yet another order of ravioli, the blue team, including Suzanne, send them best, please. Let's go. Is pushing out appetizers. Let's go. Some chicken's coming right now. Good. Right behind. Right behind. Service, please. Behind you. Sauce, please. Sauce. Ah. I lifted a really heavy pan, and I just felt the nerve in my wrist shot up to my elbow, and that shot up to my ear, and I just felt my whole body like twist like this, and I was just like, oh. ah. I see Dave wincing in pain. <sighs> this is not good. I got to see the medic. Oh. Oh. Do I need to go over and work at station? Where's Dave? We're all on edge, because we don't know what's going on. It's like dead. You can move him a little bit, though? It's just not a good idea, because it sends horrific pain signals down here. We're down a person. Not looking good. Dave's already injured arm appears to be dramatically worse. Uh, I'm just experiencing so much pain. Nervous that I'm not going to be able to perform to uh, my best. <clears throat> but I'm not a quitter, and I'm here to win. I have the heart to do it. I can muscle through the pain, and I'm not giving up. Let's go. Dave, I need a bisque. Yeah, I got a bisque working, Chef. Dave, you're the fucking man. You are awesome. Finally, you can get food out. Right here, Chef. Bisque in the window. All right, let's go on the chicken, guys. We're ready. All right. Service, please. Table 12, yes? It's an hour and 15 minutes into dinner service. Everything's flowing beautifully. And both going teams... Going up, baby, going up. I'm going to go up. ...seem to be excelling. Let's go. Sending out entrees to happy customers. That's so really good. Sabrina, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ribeye, yes? I'm not ready. Oh, fucking hell. Sabrina, you got to speed up, yes? Sabrina definitely needs to pick up the pace. She couldn't keep up. Sabrina, we're dragging the entree. You've got to know this, my little sweet pea. Yes, chef. Do you want me to get you a little timer just to show you how slow you're going? No, chef. Well, can we speed up? Yes, chef. While the red team waits for Sabrina to catch up, Van moves quickly to get his halibut sauce up to the pass. Right here. Hey, be nice you wipe up your mess. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Look, come here. Come here. You throw something at me on that and you piss over the bench. Have the decency to wipe it up, OK? Yes, chef. Van. Yeah, you can't even look at me or I'm talking to you. <clears throat> yeah, I can look at you. Fuck off with you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come here you a minute. What's the big deal? What's There's the big no big deal. I'm just I'm yeah. aggravated. I'm yeah. mad. I... You're pissed because you walk up the hot plate and throw me sauce again like that. Look at, look at me. At Have the decency to wipe it down. I wiped it down. Yeah, only when I asked you because you walked away because you couldn't be bothered. I don't want to fight with you, Chef. Look I'm at me. I'm not here to fight with you. When you put a sauce on the hot plate, have the decency to wipe it up. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. 
I'm not used to getting screamed at all the time, and like, I try to keep, just let that shit go and keep my head in the game, but it just, it, it fucks with me a little bit. Van, you yes, make chef. a mistake and then you crumble. No, Chef. Well, no come chef. back! While Van collects himself, Chef Ramsay looks to the red kitchen to get food out. One broccoli in here, One minute, Chef. One minute. Tennille started sweeping in the middle of service. Oh my God, how do you have time to sweep right now? I don't have time to do anything but cook. Hurry up, Tennille, come on, hurry up. Our Chef. customers are watching you, yeah? Hurry up, hurry Chef. up, hurry up. I'm gonna finish sweeping the floor, wash my hands. Okay, fine, it's fine, but just hurry up. You're yes, sweeping Chef. and cooking at the same time, come on. I'm trying to work as quickly as possible. I only got two hands, two feet, eight fingers, and two thumbs. Tennille. Yes, Chef. Do me a favor, serve the broccolini next time, then sweep up, yeah? Yes, Chef. While Tennille finally focuses on her broccolini, Van rushes to get his halibut up to Chef Ramsay. Oh, no. Van! Raw halibut. Raw halibut. Come on, get it in the pan, Van! Yes, Chef. Van was cooking halibut, and that's not new. So by now, he should know how long it takes. This is basics! Yes, Chef. That was like a rookie mistake. Go, come back for the halibut. Get a grip, Van. I'm gonna cook it all the way from now on, Chef. It's not just you letting the blue team down, I'm screwing the red team. Yes, Chef. Hurry up! One hour and 45 minutes into dinner service, Van's mistake on the halibut has brought both kitchens to a standstill. Oh, I'm hungry with our food. I am. Put more stock in it, more stock. Here, veg stock. That shit's well done right more now. More stock, just put veg stock in it. I guarantee it's well done. Van and his halibut was really screwing us. Come on, Van, I want that halibut. Hold on, hold on. Uh, no, it's not. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You good? Yeah. I cook halibut all the time. I butcher halibut. I, 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 I know halibut in and out. All right, go right up. Come on, Blue. I want the halibut urgently. Halibut's coming. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, fuck. Come here, all of, just come here. Come here, all of you. Look, it's not, it's uh -oh. just, no, it's not about all. Oh, it's not about that. Oh, damn it. Halibut exploded all over my face, and like I had little tiny like bits of halibut in my eyes. It can't take place every fucking time. It's not even nearly there. It's miles away. <clears throat> I don't know why I keep fucking up on fish, and that's what I do, you know what I mean? When I'm 30 seconds under, I'm fucking fine, but that's about four minutes away. Look at me, twice on the trot. Yes, sir. This halibut sets the team back big time. Van, what's up with that, dude? I don't know. Cook it properly! Yes, yeah, chef! While the blue team waits for Van in the red kitchen, the pressure is on Sabrina. Sabrina, are you ready? I'm ready. I want the halibut urgently. Yes, chef. Urgently. Oh, no. Sabrina, come here. Ariel, come here. Tanil, right now, come here. Put down the pan. Yes, it looks chef. great. I know, all the exhibition. There we go. Yeah? It's rarer than a oh. sushi bar. Fuck off. I got another one. It was raw and ice cold in the middle. Absolutely ice cold. They went out flipping on the plate because it's so raw. Yes, chef. It's rarer than a sushi bar. Sorry, chef. Oh, how embarrassing. What are you doing? I didn't mean to, chef. I'm sorry. It's not even 30 seconds away. That's what fucks me off. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Hey, yes, if it chef. makes you feel any better, he's just as fucking bad. He can't cook a halibut either. Yeah, both kitchens can't cook a halibut. Hey, Van, come here. Hey, you, hey, madam, come here. Oh, no. When Chef calls you up, you know it's bad. I'm not enough! This can't be good. Switch it off! I'm getting sick of, you know, getting shut down because, like, we couldn't get that halibut up. It's ridiculous. It's kind of embarrassing. Let's go, ladies, please. OK. I'm going to keep it brief, short, and straight to the point, yeah? As far as the quality and the enjoyment and the balance of the dishes, no one won. Do you know why? Because we both screwed up. And it's not good enough, guys. This was your night. So, think hard. Red team, give me one name for elimination. Blue team, follow suit, give me one name. Yeah? And do it quick. Off you go.
That's a tough one. It's a really, really tough one. Not really that tough. I mean, basically, if you look at it this way, Van had the most fuck-ups, right? Point blank. That's easy decision. I think Suzanne should go up on the block. Well, I sure as hell don't want to go down just because I'm the newbie. I don't see any reasons why I should be up on the chopping block tonight. I worked as hard as I could during service, and it went well for me. I'm completely safe. Fuck them all. send a woman home this evening. What do you think about putting Suzanne up? If Kevin and Van agree to put up Suzanne, I got to go with my guy teammates. We've been teammates since the beginning, and she just joined us yesterday, so. What do you think about putting Suzanne up? Could do that. Dave said he was down to doing that, too, but. What? The logical choice seems like Van. Chef smashes halibut all over the damn place, but Suzanne's definitely the weakest one on the team. It's a tough decision. I don't have a reason to go up there. No offense to Neil, but we were waiting on veg most of the time. Oh, we you we were waiting on garnish all night. No, you weren't. Sabrina's full of shit. I don't think you had a lot of menu input at all. Really? You didn't. I put my hand in every single dish. I didn't play in one entire dish myself. We all three did it together. I think that's bull crap. Well, what do you think, Tanil? I'm not going to be a martyr. I had a solid and consistent service. Who would you send up? She already said me. I really don't think Tanil was that fast today. So I would put up Tanil, and Tanil would put up me, so you're the tiebreaker. Sabrina. Yes, Chef. Red team's nominee and why, please. The red team has decided to vote me, Chef. You? Yes, Chef. And why? I think because of my previous services, Chef. Not based on tonight's service? No, Chef. Right, blue team. Dave, nominee and why, please. Our nominee tonight is Van, based on tonight's performance only. But the weakest chef on the blue team is Suzanne. So why was Van nominated as the weakest chef tonight? He had faltered with the halibut, so it wasn't his best service tonight. Um, nominees, Sabrina and Van, step forward, please. Both of you presented raw halibut tonight. I can't go into the next service and talk about a raw halibut. I don't want it. Van, I don't think I can work with you much longer. I'm you not know, convinced. I had a bad service. I, I, get, I get upset when I start messing up food. Right. I'm better than that. I'm when not a loser. I'm not throwing in the towel. You it's, had one fish, my man. It's, just, it's not with the type of fish I'm used to working with. It's so now you're blaming the fish. No, I'm not making excuses. I'm just here to tell you I'm not done here. I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm fighting it to the end. Sabrina. Yes, Chef. What have you got left that I haven't seen? I think I have everything left, Chef. I know that the raw halibut tonight was instrumental for me being up here, but I work with my team very well. I can mesh with any team, and I can lead a team. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Sabrina. Give me a jacket, please. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Hey, big heart, Thanks. sweet girl. Dedicated beyond belief. But for me, not the head chef. Yes, Chef. At the Raxi. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Sabrina, thank you. Thank you, Chef. I came in, red lipstick, makeup on, hair did, big bitch on the block. But once Chef, like, brings you off your pedestal, the chicken is pinker than your fucking lipstick. Yes, Chef. It is really hard. Get out! Yes, Chef. Both of you! I expected it to be easy. Dried lamb on the outside, raw in the center. Fuck off and eat it! I was wrong. It's very difficult, but I am so proud that I got this far. <laughs> <laughs> I am really looking forward to getting back to my own kitchen, seeing my own staff, and uh, getting pretty again. Tomorrow morning, you're going to face one of the most intense challenges ever. Good night. Good night, Chef. Yeah. Top six. 
Holla at your girl, you know? I'm still going. I just need to bounce back. No more mistakes. Failure is not an option right now. I'm going, I'm taking it all the way to Whistler. Sabrina wanted to be the head chef in Whistler. Now all she needs to do is take those red lips and whistle on out of here. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. It's Christmas morning. Oh. It's time for celebration. Getting the black jackets, like, bury me now. I'm all set. But as soon as the black jackets are handed out. Good luck. This is about letting the best chef win. The gloves come off. Every man for himself. At dinner service. Tonight, step up to the mark. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. It's all out war. Say it. Yes! Look at me when I'm talking to you, boy! And things get so bad. You're sweating in the food. Who the fuck's gonna eat that? The pan's not even hot. Chef Ramsay does something. This is too much. I can't take this. He's never done before. Come here. Find out what drove Chef Ramsay out of the kitchen. Ariel fucked up super bad. And if Hell's Kitchen will ever open its doors again. We're all going home. It's an episode you don't want to miss. Fuck that.